workbook, Affinity Workbook for Designer. We're still on Chapter 2, Core Still, Core Skills, Flipping and Rotating this time. Page 88 and 89, and we'll do both of them together, I think. Might make it a little bit longer. But we've opened up the artboard and discovered the section Objects Flipping and Rotating. Now, to click on the skyscraper in the flipping section we want, so we've got to find the skyscraper. Objects, symbols, artboards. Oh, it's up and down here somewhere, isn't it? Flipping and rotating. There we go. So we've got flipping. Now, edit this to duplicate it. So we want to duplicate the skyscraper using edit and du duplicate. Edit and duplicate. So we've got duplicate and you, you can see we've got now got two exactly the same. So on the toolbar, select flip horizontally or flip vertically and then reposition to add effects as necessary. Now we can, we can flip horizontally here. See it's um, the second line down and it's that one there. Of course I've got to select it first silly boy. Select there we go selected find the correct tool and there we go, we've flipped the duplicate. Now we can also flip that vertically. And that's the option next to it, which is that one there. And you can see all it's done is reposition it there, but we can move that. There we go. And now that's flipped and both horizontally and vertically. And you can use that, of course, in various options that you'll need. Now let's go back to the Layers panel, and you can see them both there. Now the next one we want to do is Rotating, and that's the next level down. So we go to there, and we select the green bar. Now you're probably familiar with this. We can use them with the Move tool selected, Select the green shape in the rotating section, hover over the rotating handle above the selection and drag left or right. And that moves that left or right. You can see that. We'll just leave it off centre. Now what we want to do with the red one, select the red bar. With the red shape selected, click Rotate clockwise or rotate anti-clockwise. Now this is in here. See you've got that one there or that one there and let's put it back. You can flip it with that one there, just go right around if you like. But what's also interesting for precise rotation use the option on the transform panel now there are, there'll be numbers around here, but this one here, you can see what happens if I move that like that. Now let's put the white dot over there in the center. That's moving there. Let's put the white dot there and there. Makes no difference. However, You can see that stays slightly off center. Constraints. No, we don't need constraints and we don't need alignment options. About the center. Its position is there and there. Now we want to anchor
let's say we anchor it there. And that's moved it to there. We can undo that, move it back. Put the anchor in the top corner there. And that's it. Rotation, 25 degrees, and there you go. And it's rotated, you'll note, from there. So let's move that. You can see that's moving from the left-hand end. What if I put it there? And then we move the rotation option, which is there. You can see it moves from the other end. Now this is very handy if you're trying to juggle something into position. Let's put it there. And move the rotation. Zero, zero, zero. Zero rotation. And there we go, perfectly level. But it's leveled up from that end. Very useful. Remember that's rotation. That one there. And you can do that with anything, of course. Let's try that one. That's set at 180. Let's rotate that out slightly. And you can see it's that end, the top right hand side, that's being rotated out. Put it back into place, 178, 79, 180. Uh, okay, 180. And there it is, perfectly aligned again. That's the end of that little exercise.